In the beginning, there was no gear. When Dragon's Dungeon was first released, there was no gear. Those old folks walked up the floors in the snow both ways, slogging through 10 floors with 30 hunters, most of which were half the DPS of today's S-tier hunters. When Kraken was released, gear was added. Each dungeon got their own set in three flavors, common, rare, and epic. Six months later, Yeti was released with another new set. We grinded for months in the original setup. The best drop rate was floor 20, which wasn't easy for most players. And even then, the drop rate at floor 20 was only 1% chance for an epic. 1%. In sloppy math, you had to do floor 20 100 times to get one epic piece. 500 times to get five and hope for no duplicates. After playing for many months and still being a long way from an epic set of any flavor, I wrote an essay to the developers asking if they truly wanted players to grind for an entire year to earn a full epic set. The response to my essay and many other similar complaints by players was the quote-unquote pity system we have now, where each run that you do not get an epic drop your chances increase for the next run, up to 15%. This change made it much easier to get your set, but even then it was a long and slow grind. Depending on how much you played, it could be several weeks between epic drops. You are more likely to earn the gems and buy them from the shop than to get all five drops. And that's what us old school players went through. We grinded for months in Dragon, then months in Kraken, and months yet again in Yeti. Carries were almost unheard of outside of clanmates. If you did a random match, chances are you were the one going to carry the other person. And then Maze came out, and the gods sent down their loot on anyone and everyone. But at what cost? Some players quit because all their months of grinding was now quote-unquote in vain. And worse, new players who spent a fraction of the time could catch up and even pass them in hours. This obviously wasn't intended. So changes were made so that new players had to go through the proper progression that was originally intended. But players are smart. They figured out the fastest way to get through them. Let's look at the original progression path compared to the current. Originally, the best way was to get a carry to Kraken 10 to unlock Yeti and the Yeti shop. Then buy all Yeti common gear or get them as drops. Then head back to Dragon and level them up to 6. Then head to Kraken and level them up to 11. And then began the grind for the epic set of your choice. Most players recommended the epic Kraken set as it was easier to obtain than Yeti, Yeti being harder for players without strong gear. That means if you're going for the Yeti set, you're basically grinding for two different full epic sets, Kraken and then Yeti. After the maze fix, the new fastest way was to grind Dragon Common, get the score to 125, unlock Kraken, get the score to 600, unlock Yeti, and get the score to 1200. If players get carried, this could be done very fast. The problem with the original grind was that it was far too long. Three to six months or longer, depending on how much you played, to get a single set. The problem with the current setup is that it makes dragging Kraken and Yeti pointless hurdles to overcome just to get to maze where the quote, real gear exists. So let's look at the future, how things could work. And let's start by thinking about a new player who has just unlocked dungeons. You enter Dragon's Dungeon and start grinding. Instead of a measly 1% drop, it's now 10 times higher. The cost of upgrading gear is a fraction of the original cost. You might get the full Dragon set in a week, and the only gems you need to level it up is just Dragon. You don't need Epic, you don't need Kraken, nothing. Just Dragon. While you're in Dragon, you are learning each hunter in detail. You're working on improving your hunters, your gear, and your strategy. You're learning how to play dungeons. And for the first time in the history of the game, getting the full dragon set is a nice reward, and it doesn't come with the months and months of grinding that the original design had. Once your dragon set is level 10, now you unlock Kraken. You can continue to level up your dragon set, which is pretty strong compared to the old common gear that we used to have, and you get to experience Kraken in a way that most players never did. With the skills you've learned and the hunters you've gained, and the gear you have now, you could probably reach floor 15. That would have been very difficult in Kraken Common back in the day. But the Kraken drop rates are also boosted, which means you're going to start getting Kraken epics. Eventually, you'll obtain the full Kraken set. And guess what? The Dragon set gives approximately 50% extra damage depending on the hunter. But the Kraken set gives a whopping 180% extra damage, and even more stats. 
So now you start leveling that setup and you're having a blast. Once your Kraken set is level 10, now you can enter Yeti's Tundra, an even harder dungeon that will challenge your skills. But don't worry, the reward is oh so worth it. The Yeti set is the best of the original gear sets. It adds 250% extra damage, but it also freezes the target and makes you immune to the ice zones in Yeti. Once you have this set, doing the Yeti dungeon becomes a walk in the park and you'll have your gear to Yeti 10 in no time. And now, finally, you unlock Maze, where the endgame content is. This is the best gear, of course, but now you've earned it. You've gone the long road, but not too long, and you've learned all the dungeons. You've learned all the hunters, and your Yeti gear will get you nice and easily into Maze. The Yeti set can get you 10 plus Maze easily if you know what you're doing, even farther with the right partner. And you should know what you're doing, you've been practicing. So what's the point of all this change? When you put everything together, it means that new players get to experience all of the dungeons in a fair and balanced progression, leading them to enjoy all of the content that the devs have put hundreds of hours of development time into. And they aren't just jumping over hurdles to skip to the end. And the players have clearly defined worthwhile rewards multiple times on their journey to the end game, and they've learned everything that they need to know along the way. This is why I think this change is going to be so great for the game. It gives players something to do and earn and feel rewarded for. It helps the devs be rewarded for the content that they create. People actually want to play it. And all of us veterans who had to climb Mount Dune just to get one piece of gear, we're not going to make new players do that. It was fun, but I think we can all admit that the grind was a little too long. So that's how I see this change. And hopefully you can see it in a similar way. It might be a little bit longer grind for some players, but it'll be a far more enjoyable one, and it will be better for the game in the long run, which I think we all want. We want a game that's going to be here for years to come. Alright, thank you for listening to my TED Talk, and I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Papa kicks out.